Round 7 and Snetterton in Norfolk. Another high speed circuit with a back straight more than a kilometre in length. The main players are keen to rack up more points, but whatever happens, this is bike racing, and there's always a young gun ready to prove a point. Let's take a look. Leon Haslam managing to get off the line slightly better than his teammate. Tommy Hill looking around the outside of Gregorio Oliveira into the S's. That was always going to be brave into there. But Tommy Hill at the start of that race, Ooh. his first front row, they're bobbing and weaving all over the place. His first front row on those Pirelli tyres. But he was jumping up and down in the seat like an exciting kid. Stobart Honda was the one that just blasted past. I'm sure that was, it looked to me like uh, Michael Rutter was forcing his way through. Uh, we'll have to see if he uh, manages to get on the tail of this front leading bunch at the moment because they have set a hell of a pace. Tommy Hill's gone through. Yes, it is. Michael Rutter who bars his way past uh, James Hayden, I think it was, that uh, he forced his way under. James Hayden, of course, still bruised and battered after that off at Mallory Park. But Kianari leads. Well, Ryuichi Kianari leads from Carl Harris. Third place still Leon Haslam. Fourth place still Gregorio Levere. But Gregorio, Gregorio Levere is a man that won't be phased by the fast starting three in front of him. He will sit there and weigh up the odds and make a move, well, miles later in the race. Race this and shorten from 22 laps to 21. They were given an extra warm-up lap because of fears that the left-hand side of the tyre wasn't getting hot enough during one warm-up lap. That was the only difference. Kianari. Down at the S's, looking absolute. This I watched Haslam through here the other day, and he is frighteningly awesome through that flip flop. He really has so much confidence in the front end of that motorbike, but he's going to need to have. He's going to get on turns with the two. Oh, down has gone 17 already. That Simon Andrews. Simon Andrews has been riding brilliantly, and that's one of the hijacked bikes behind him. Simon Andrews has ridden brilliantly throughout qualifying, but the Gentin bike is down on the deck. That's a disaster for him. And over the back is Gary Mason fighting to get the hijacks on to start it again. These bikes might be lights as far as road bikes are concerned, but let's have a, have a look at this and see who took... Oh, Whoa. dear me. He lost it on the way in and went across the track. And Gary Mason did it perhaps but, similarly. I don't quite... They weren't connected, yeah. those incidents, but they were in some way or another that uh, our cameras obviously at that angle couldn't pick up, but uh, frantic stuff there, I've got to say. Now then... Gregorio Oliveira up to third, third so we place. Go back Where's to the Haslam? Action. Yes, indeed. Where's Haslam gone back to fourth place? And quite a bit back in fourth place. Kianari setting the pace. Let's have a look. levia has got the fastest lap. One minute, 5.440. Now then, that's a new lap record as far as my memory goes. Absolutely. One minute, 5.440. One minute, 5.6 it used to be by Kianari. Now Lavia has it. So levia has got the lap record. Kianari had the lap record. No, the man, the machine, Gregorio Oliveira, he just... <sighs> There's absolutely nothing that Leon can do at the moment, isn't there? He's going out, setting the fastest times. He said he's got a good race setup. He was very happy with grip. He was right mentally. He felt he was focused. He gets out there, and of course, Gregorio Oliveira, he's just going to be seeing the number two bike of Kianari getting away at the front, and he can't let that happen here, of all places at Snetterton, where top speed and slipstreaming counts for so much. Although Kianari in the championship only has 27 points compared with the. Uh, Back, what am I talking about? <laughs> I was looking at the wrong one. Kianari has 149 points compared with 223 um, as far as the overall is concerned. So Kianari has got a lot of work to do. He's got to have some race wins in amongst this lot. In fact, Kianari remarkably has only had one, two race oh, wins. Oh, Leon from a long way back. Sorry, Keith Leon, not the inside of the S's. Is he going to make it stick? Brilliant move by and Leon Haslam. That is exactly where both me and Roger Burnett were out watching the other day and said that Haslam was just awesome on the brakes on the way in there. So much confidence in the oh, front. Oh, that's a big Harris, one. Harris. Carl Harris has gone in the bomb hole big time there. Blimey. Oh, it's a pace car that's going safety, out there now. So a safety car now. has gone out. That's why the riders are now uh, slowing down. They'll come into formation behind the safety car. And this, of course, facilitates the collection of Carl Harris. Carl Harris will... The bomb hole is a difficult place to get to, and they will need to... Uh, Give him some treatment, so um, we'll wait to find out what exactly the... We are in direct... In fact, Kianari just stuck in a 1 minute 5.056. We're about to get our first sub 1 minute 5 second lap. That's half a second faster than the lap record. That's an astonishing pace. That is an astonishing. astonishing pace. Just a little bit further down the field, we missed it with all the melee of what was going on, but Johnny Ray got in front of Michael Russell and was closing down on Hill. So those two scrapping. Well, good there's news Carl. There. There's good news there. Carl Harris then, look at the crash on his helmet. His helmet's taken a fair old beating where he's got... He's a tough lad, Carl Harris. Very. 
Let's take another look at this then as we come into it. This is Carl Harris from our longer shot. He's gone oh. down, lost it into the barrier. Oh. The bike has moved the barriers on top of Carl Harris. So Carl Harris, has, the bike's gone in first, moved the barriers out of the way, but luckily bounced over Carl and not come back down on him. Tell you what, he was lucky that bike didn't land on him there. Sure, he is a tough guy, shaken, but that is a 120 mile an hour corner that he's come into there at. Carl Harris is one tough kid. He's had the uh, sense knocked out of him a little bit there. Now, Kionari, he will be the man that tries to lead off Haslam. And it's all a question of um, trying to back him up through Russell Chicane, effectively. Kionari needs to back him, you know, roll the throttle off just when Haslam, outfox Haslam if he can on the exit to the Russell Chicane, and then get full power up well, the hill. Interesting. It was just interesting to watch Levia there, because he dropped right back, I think Levia's going to Take a run. To, yeah, absolutely take a run, yeah. try and time it right. And if Tommy Hill can stay in his wheel tracks, he might come out of this very well indeed. Well, he's not going to because, as I said, Kianari's backed him up. That's exactly what I would have done through that chicane. Kianari backed him up into the chicane and then let the, let the uh, Honda loose up the front straight and basically hasn't given any advantage to anyone. Has them still with him, Levia still with him. Tommy Hill probably the biggest gainer as far as Carl Harris's crash is concerned. Basically, he's back on the rear end of these three front runners. But uh, whether the Pirellis can last the entire 21 laps at the pace that these Michelin and Dunlop shot bikes are performing at at the moment, we're going to wait and see. Certainly, Tommy Hill seems to be up to the task. The Yamaha's up to the task. Pirelli are making strides in their tyre development this year in superbikes. But really, still, they are just that tiny weeny bit off the pace of the Michelin and Dunlops up front in superbike racing. Tommy just take an unusual line into those S's. He's a lot wider than everyone. Looks like we had another ride to cut across at the S's there. Well, that would have been straight on up the slip road, I expect. And the trouble is with the slip, uh, slip road there as well is that there is a tile wall right in the middle of it. It's the one Shane Byrne had to try and miss before he could hit the grass uh, in his oh, big accident. Oh, at the back of the screen. That looked to me like James Hayden. It's a snap decision. It was. No, it's no. Joe Buckingham. It's Buckingham that's gone down. Oh, oh the down has gone. Now, who is that? I recognise the bike, but I'm not 100% sure who it was. It looked like Chris Martin, one of the... Was it Chris Martin, the, the leading privateer? Yes. Oh, no. We'll wait and find out, because it will come up in a minute. It's Kirkham and Buckingham. Well, John Kirkham and James Buckingham. Here we go, change of place. Whoa. Oh, I'll tell you what, forced him right out on the white line there. You know what, despite what everybody's saying, there ain't any love lost between these two out on the racetrack, is there? Here comes Haslam, back on his best part of the track. This is where Haslam is exceptionally good. Anything you can do, Lavia, I can do just as good. So he forces Lavia out just there as well. Got to say, it's getting, in my view, and I know Colin Wright, the team manager, he's put a shot across, there he is on the right-hand side. That's Ollie, of course, Leon's girlfriend there. But Colin Wright put a shot across my bows earlier on. Don't try and wind up the team, and don't try and say that there is any animosity between the two riders because they're not. They're sharing and caring and they love each other. Not quite, I think, how one or two other people see it around the paddocks and uh, certainly on the racetrack, Leon so desperately wants to win. Levy is just one more man to beat. I think it is getting a little fraught there. I'll go along with that. I don't see any reason why uh, why they should be hugging and helping each other at the moment. They're competitors at the front of a well, championship chase. No, I think they are helping each other, but I don't. I think you know that is because they are professionals. At the end of the day, professionally, they have to help each other technically. But it doesn't mean they're going to give any inch on the racetrack. And certainly, Lavia was hard at that point. We've just seen on Haslam, and Haslam was just as hard at the end of the straight on Lavia. And uh, I think fair enough. The end of the day, you've got to win. Haslam has got to start winning races. Johnny just, Ray, Johnny Ray, Johnny oh, Ray. Superb under Tommy Hill. <laughs> three Johnny Rays. Three there. Johnny <laughs> Rays. Well, he deserved three shouts for that. He did indeed, but he's run a bit oh, wide, and oh. Tommy Hill's come straight back at him. Beautiful. And there's a Laverty thrown into the mix as well. So two Ulstermans stuck together. Johnny Ray on bike 65, the Red Bull Honda. Then he's followed by the Eddie Stobart Honda of 33, Michael Laverty. But the Virgin Mobile Yamaha of Tommy Hill out front riding out of his skin on that bike at the moment. Let's take another look at this. Well, he just ran it out a little bit wide there, Johnny Ray, didn't he? Got out towards the curb, had to just pull it down, and uh, Tommy Hill didn't need another invitation. I'll tell you what, I've been trying to think whose helmet Tommy Hill reminds me of. Dale Singleton. Yeah, oh, oh Johnny, Johnny Ray. Ray. Unbelievable. Puts it straight. No mercy, Mr Ray. I don't think I've seen anybody go that fast round Riches. I'm not so sure that was John's plan at that point, but he was <laughs> quick round there then. Here we go, then. This is what I was looking for. It's half a second last time round. Well, oh, it's down to two-tenths of a second uh, on our monitor. So, um, 
Haslam has closed down Kianari. This is going to be a dogfight. And uh, Lavia oh. for the... Oh, Lavia right out the other side of the white line. So Lavia seemingly struggling with the pace of the front two. Now, that is unusual. Surprised at that, because throughout the season, we've seen Lavia drop back a bit, and then he comes straight back. He's on them in the matter of half a lap, and then he's fighting for the lead. So I'm surprised at this. Still Chris Martin, the leading Superbike Cup runner from Marty Nutt and Gareth Glynn. Chris Martin... Well, he's having another good ride here at the moment. He's been taken in the sun all week long, he and his girlfriend wandering around the paddock. Good sight, I have to say, uh, Mr Martin. I think a few people would cheer as far as that's concerned, both ladies and gentlemen out there. Good-looking little team you have. The two Ulstermen stuck together as well. Valley Money versus Lima Vadi. Well, at the front of the uh, at the front of the field now with Leon and Kianari, it will be now where Leon's game plan for the final few feet of this race are being played out. He'll know where he has to come out of corners, where he has to drive, where he has to belt that bike forward, and I think this is one of the most crucial parts for him now to be Sean, close enough to Kianari. Sean Emmett, who took over the JJL Diggers uh, ride from Steve Plater, who injured his shoulder at Mallory Park. Sean, well, struggling a bit round here. He's down in, well, he's uh, out now. He's back in the paddock. He's way down the order, but uh, I can tell you, Sean looks to me like he's a retirement. So Emmett, looking like he's out of this race. He'll have to wait until race two. Well, as the Ulstermen continue their battle for fourth and fifth places, back at the front, Kianari has only a three-tenth of a second lead now over Leon Haslam, Haslam has closed it down again, another couple of tenths. It's yo-yoing between half a second and three tenths of a second. Whether it's got anything to do with Haslam or whether it's got more to do with Kianari, I don't know. Haslam had the fastest lap on oh. lap 11, one minute 5.054. Again, just a little bit quicker than his previous lap record. Final lap. Over the line, it's going to be Kianari, though. Haslam knows he's got to finish second. Kianari wins. Haslam in second place. Kianari wins by just over two tenths of a second from Haslam. Lavia finishes in third place. Gregorio Lavia, the defending champion, is out on his spare bike because the bike number one has a problem. That is Nick Med. He will start from pit lane at the end of this race. And Carl Harris has been withdrawn after the race one incident by his team just for safety as we get underway. Race two then at Stenerton here. The Venice British Superbikes thunder up towards Reggie's who has got the whole shot. Kianari again, it looked to me. It was Kianari and Carl Harris in race one. It is Kianari and it looks to me like Haslam or maybe yes it is Haslam. Haslam I think up the inside here. That Sears. Oh, oh Johnny, great right, start great indeed. Four. I've got to say, you're looking at one set, I'm looking at the other set. It's Kianari, punches the HM plant on the down the rivet straight. Who's it going to be? Down towards, yes, it is. Has them up the inside, surely. Oh, oh, the yes, is oh. brilliant stuff there. Blocks off Kianari. I'll tell you what, that's a brave move when your tyres are only just up to temperature from Leon Hazem. Very brave indeed for the Airway Duke Gallyman. Gets in front of Ryoichi Kianari, and that really has stolen a march on the rest. Third place is Lavia on bike number one. And then we look down the order. Tommy Hill has had a great start as well. Johnny Ray had a great start too. Gonna have to see whether Tommy Hill third, Johnny Ray fourth, then now. In fifth place is Michael Rutter as we come to the Russells chicane. Oh, Rutter out of the seat. And likewise, Laverty. Dear, oh dear, the two Stobart bikes absolutely out of the seat. Well, did they make an adjustment to traction control? Is it still working? Very rarely you get that much of a high side. Well, Gregorio Olivier's trying to find his way past Michael Rutter. You see them there, Gregorio Rutter, Olivier just behind. Rutter went past... Didn't Gregorio Olivier have a bit of a problem? I'm sure Rutter got in front of him. But anyway, we'll worry about that in just a moment. Tommy Hill and Johnny Ray have gone through. I'm wondering whether Gregorio Olivier had a, a, a problem somewhere that we didn't see. He's out on his spare motorcycle, so he's obviously... Uh, suffering some kind of problem here at Snedders at the moment. Kianari looks for the inside line. Johnny Ray's going up into third. Johnny Ray's oh. popped into third into the S's. Ray, oh. bike number 65. Tommy oh. Hill try and find his way past. Will he do it? Yes, he yes, will. He Johnny does. Ray made a right mess coming out of the S's. Well, again, Johnny Ray, that was a dogfight between two young men on superbikes. This is a dogfight 
between two more young men on superbikes. <laughs> <laughs> They're all young men nowadays, the top four anyway in the superbikes. Leon Haslam, what's he, 24? I think Kianari's 23. This is all from memory, of course. Tommy Hill, he's 20, as is uh, Johnny Ray. And then you've got Michael Rutter, who's 32, followed by 32-year-old Gregorio Lavia looking for a way past Rutter. Rutter's not letting him have it. And certainly the snowball Honda looks pretty quick up the hill here. Kianari, fastest lap so far. 1.04.868. 1.04.868. That is an exceptional time. I'm just looking to see what the lap record was in race one. It's something like 0.8 of a second faster. 0.8 of a second. That is absolutely outstanding. We are sub one minute five. And, uh, <laughs> oh, and has them right out the other side of the white line. You can't get that close to the grass without... Uh, Causing a disaster if you touch it. And well, they've got to be on some kind. 104966 was the time Haslam did. 104968. Six. Whoa, I can't read it properly. 868, that was it that Kianari did. So. Oh, we've got a four there. Is that the Kieran JJ? Oh, no, no, that's Jensen, sorry. Hmm. I'm just trying to work out who that was. Looked like the JJ L Diggers bike, which would have been. Uh, Sean Emmett, but um, we'll give confirmation of it. Didn't look like Emmett, it. though. No, you're right. Didn't football. look like Emmett. Looked too thin. Emmett's bulked up a little bit in the last few weeks of uh, inactivity. Oh. And I assume it's the same one. But Ron, talk about your anxious father looking on Father's Day, of course. Indeed, Ron Haslam, formerly Rocket Ron Haslam. This man has been known as the Pocket Rocket because, uh, well, he was the younger one of the Haslam pair. But uh, that family is all about racing. Here's that battle. Now it's Tommy Hill under pressure from Gregorio Lavia on bike number one. Lavia, well, you always have a motorcycle you favour, even if you've got two that are exactly the same. And at the moment, Lavia is on his second motorcycle. It just, it's not that it won't be set exactly the same as the other one, it just won't feel quite the same. I'm sure you can say that about twins. On lap six of 21, and I'll tell you what, Kianari is applying such a lot of pressure. And now that these two at the moment, Kianari looks the smoother of the two. And uh, Leon Haslam really has got to put some really nice, smooth laps together and keep this Ducati together in front of Kianari. It's going to be a tough old job. Number 94 under observation, possible technical problem. So uh, looking, that's Michael Howarth on the MAR Kawasaki. Kianari Here comes Kianari. Well, that's the Honda. The Honda punches. Yeah. The traction control works so well out of the slower corners over the Ducati. They are creating their old Honda lane, aren't they? You know, if you're throwing back to the 500, but Kianari, all the way out of the S's. Whoa, back, back wheel, wheel in waving the in the air. Oh. He's trying so many old Kio out there, trying on to Leon. Billy McConnell on the other Virgin Mobile bike. Tommy Hill's teammate is out. He's back in pit lane at the moment. So Billy McConnell, the Australian, last year's winner. Oh, oh it's good. Didn't... Tell you what, lavier has gone through. Lavier has got Jonathan Ray. And Jonathan Ray's now under a lot of pressure from the Lingfield lad himself. Tommy Hill's back on the pace. And right there, look at Tommy look Hill. At Tommy Hill, that's oh, fantastic. Right in the wheels off that Yamaha. So then, Russell Chicane, now the number one bike, the champion, has got a clear road in front of him. Don't see him being fiddled with by the two boys behind him at the minute. And he is setting off after the two leaders. So worst case scenario as far as the championship's concerned. Let's take another look at this. Through, well, I'll tell you what, he nearly hit the back of Johnny Ray. And then, he, oh, that is great. Yeah, you used to be able to do that in the olden days when the riding wasn't quite as on the edge as it is nowadays. You can find your way through there, but Lavia has worked out a typical Snetterton manoeuvre. That used to be a, a regular manoeuvre, rolling on the shoulder of the guy through the left-hander and then pip him at the apex of the second part of the S's. Brilliant stuff from Lavia. He is quite a guy, I've got to say. Lap 11 of 21. Haslam still leads for number two, HM Plant Honda's Ryuichi Kianari. Kianari has the new lap records, one minute four, 0.868 seconds on lap three. Lavia is now up to third place, but he's 6.4 seconds off of Kianari in second place. Keep that in your memory. 6.4 seconds is the difference. Johnny Ray has gone back to fourth place. Tommy Hill is in fifth place and fighting like mad. Laverty is in sixth place. Seventh is Rutter, his teammate. Did look again. How, look how far back it is to third place, though, at the moment. And look at this. I'll tell you what, Lavia under a lot of pressure from yeah. Johnny Ray. Johnny Ray, well, the thing is about Johnny Ray, he's learning, isn't he? He's learning his craft on superbikes. Who better to learn from than the guy who is the defending champion? We've got a red flag. We've got a red flag here. That's a major incident then, because normally they put a pace car out. Normally they would put a safety car out on the racetrack. There is obviously a big accident here somewhere that we don't yet know about. So. We have, how far have they gone race distance-wise? 
Uh, they won't, well, it won't matter anyway. Well, it doesn't matter because it will be a new all. race after this. Yeah. And with the new rules, that will be a complete new race. Yeah. The race will be over the existing distance, over the distance that's left over, that will be the race distance. So we could have a 10 lap sprint. Exactly right. So we're waiting to find out. It's 11 and 12, so it's Hayden that's come down. Hay Hayden has come down as well as Dean Thomas. Thomas. And there is James Hayden, and as we can see, he is in some pain, but he is not in a neck brace, which is particularly... We're thankful of that. Leon Haslam sits on pole for the third time today. Who would have guessed it? This will be the third start in the Bennett's British Superbikes from Snedderton. The restart is over eight laps. And it was a dogfight in part one. Emmett is out. Sean Emmett on the JJL Diggers bike is out. So the JJL Diggers Honda is out of the race. But going back to the race, Haslam looks for a great start. It's a great start from Gregorio Levia. Gregorio Levia from the middle of the grid got a flyer then. Who's he going to be down to turn one? Keo again, easily. Keo sweeps across, but Levia goes into second place. Johnny Ray is in fourth place, just from one of the Stobart bikes. Guess which one? Ray goes third and forces Haslam back to fourth place. The worst possible star for Haslam. That is not what he needed. He really needs to be winning this race. He was so close to winning his first Superbike race of the year. And then the accident with Hayden and Thomas brought it all to a close. Well, Leon Haslam's going to be spitting tacks at that, isn't he? And if he's not careful, he's going to have a revital as well. He goes under the... Johnny Ray, we've got somebody going straight on at the S's again. Yeah, but at least they haven't fallen down, that's for sure. So Gary Mason has gone straight on. Gary Mason, well, he, <laughs> he'd done a great job in part one of this race and really looked very good indeed. Hauled himself up the order onto the second row of the grid, but Gary Mason has gone straight up the slip road. Kianari leads. Gregorio Lavia in second place. Whether he's on bike number one or bike number two, as far as his team is concerned, I've no idea. Haslam, though, with a bit of fight in him now, he's really going to be looking to try and trip these two up if he can. He's only got eight laps to do it, though. Not going to hang about. An incredible start from Kianari and Lavia, and Haslam's gone having to do everything possible to just try and get on terms with them. Lavia was, the Lavia was the man of the start for me. He got a better start than Kianari. It's just a Ducati not quite as nippy off the line as the Honda was. And really, Gregorio Lavia, he knew he couldn't waste the start. He had to make the start yeah. work because otherwise, over just eight laps, you've not got to get yourself mired back behind people. And really, we're already on lap two of the eight, and Haslam has got to pass two very, very quick men if he's going to take his first win of the year. Leon's bike just... Whoa, he's down, Levia, he's down! Well, that's a rarity. Whoa, I'll tell you oh, what. This is everybody else. That? Gregorio Levia hits the floor. Gregorio Levia can hardly believe it. He looks uninjured. He moves away then from the S's. And that was the place that Hayden and Thomas have gone down to cause the stoppage. Through goes Ryoichi Kianari. Second will now be Haslam. Haslam had to avoid the fallen Levia. Levia slid through his path at the time. So we're... Oh, oh. Haslam goes sideways as we come out. Gregorio Lavia winded. He's OK. He looks He's okay. just saying, get off my shoulder. Let's take another look at it. Lavia on the brakes, and as he comes into the left-hander, where does he lose it? Whoa, oh, dear me. Now, Fast I can't like. tell. I can't tell whether that was the rear end coming round on him or what at that particular point. That would take someone who rides a Ducati to actually work that out. And these marshals, they keep holding onto his arm. His arm hurts, and he keeps trying to get them off of it. We've got the safety car out, Keith. Safety car out. Something else going on. Oh, someone else. That's Johnny Ray. Johnny, Johnny Ray has fell down. down. Johnny Ray has fallen down at the S's as well. In the same place. Virtually. There must be something on the track at that particular point, surely. Johnny Ray has gone down on the... Uh, well, that's weird. There's got to be oil or something on the track, surely, to have caused that. Through comes uh, James Buckingham, of course, the uh, deputy for Shane Byrne on the Rizzo Suzuki. Here that, Clark goes through now. Well, that looked like John has lo lost half his visor as well. If he has done that, he's going to have to get into the pits for a change. How much could Tommy Hill snatch something here? Yeah, not out of the realms of possibility at all, is it? He's going to have to get a move on, though. He needs to close that gap up a bit. Keo, well, we discussed this last time. Yeah. Keo will back him up. It doesn't matter really about the gap at this particular point. It's when you're coming out of Russell's, you need to be somewhere thereabouts. And you need to somehow judge it. When you come into Russell's, you need to be 50 yards behind and be rolling through Russell's onto that straight better than these two men. These two men this close together, it's not going to be a benefit to uh, Haslam to be this close to Keo. Car's going to turn right now, and that's it. Keo's going to launch. Haslam gets a good one. So does Laverty in third place on 33. Tommy Hill on bike number eight, Jinx to the side. Really no benefit for anybody there. It seems like they all got a pretty clean start up the hill. Look who's in fifth place. Coxall. Craig Coxall. And then 
<laughs> Chris Martin on bike six, the eight. Is that Chris Martin that's got up there as well? Yep. Chris Martin on the PR Branson Honda, the leading Superbike Cup rider on this race at the moment, is in sixth place. That is stunning. Lap five of eight, we're on. Kianari leads. Now, Will Haslam goes straight to the inside now as he gets to the end of the Revit straight on the brakes. Probably he'll take a lap just to see if this track's cleaned up. Won't want to risk anything here at the moment. This is where all the debris is and all the troublesome tyre grip. Everybody rolls through there, out to the line. Doesn't seem to be any problem at that point for the top four anyway. Oh, Drew so Ridges. Good, now it? then, this is where, as we come into Sears, the next right-hand corner, Haslam has got to get it perfect to be anywhere near the rear end of that Honda. The Honda will leap away now just blasts away over the first half of this straight. Then the Ducati closes in, closes in, as it finds its legs towards the end of this long, long straight. Meanwhile, the battle for third place is hotting up as well, and they're under investigation of the stewards at the minute. We're on lap seven of eight. We've got one more lap and just a couple of corners to go. These two, well, they know what they've got to do. What are the lap times? One, four, seven, six, nine, Kianari on lap two. So Kianari has the fastest lap so far. We just heard that the incident with uh, Michael Laverty and Tom Hill, that's going to be uh, dealt, dealt with, with after the race. The race. Oh, that is a drama indeed, because these two don't know what they're racing for. Scrubbing. One of them's racing yeah. for third place. Remember what happened to Shane Byrne and Johnny Ray at Alton Park earlier on in the year? Absolutely. Johnny Ray stood on the podium. Shane Byrne should have, according to the stewards. And we're going to have the same situation here. Rutter's oh, out. Played. So Eddie Stobart, Michael Rutter is out. But it's about these two. We're on the last lap. Sears for the last time. Haslam and Kianari, what a dogfight. Haslam's not close enough. Out yeah. of there to the bomb hole. He's not close enough at this stage. Yeah, but you stage. can't do it at the bomb hole and you can't do it at the Coram. Yeah. The only place you're going to be able to make the pass, barring a mistake from Kianari, is Russell's. into Russell's. And he's not close enough to no, get to that. Not there. I just can't see it. It's not anywhere near like the, the distance that he needs to be there. And, and Haslam's not an idiot. He's not going to throw no. it all away. He's going to grab those 20 points. These two are going to be even closer to Levere in the championship. They come out of Russell's for the last time. Once again, Look at Leon Haslam his head. has been thwarted in his attempts to make his first Superbike win of the year. Keo makes it his first double of the year. What a race.